Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. I know usually I do a post review Friday on Fridays, um, but unfortunately I do not have a finish to share with you guys. Uh, I am working on a current project. I just didn't get it finished in time. Uh, I have about a row, I think I have a row left of it. Uh, so it won't be next week's post review Friday because that will be my February month in review, but it will be the following Fridays. So keep an eye out for that video. But I wanted to share a Diamond Art Club unboxing with you all. Now you, I'm sure I put the title, the title of this uh, canvas in the title. I'm sure it's on the thumbnail, but um, this is a new release that came out last weekend and it kind of became a canvas with a special meaning inadvertently. <laughs> so uh, today we're going to be talking about a cat named Poppy by Peggy Collins. Uh, this is a round kit from Diamond Art Club. Now, if you've been wondering where I've been lately, I did put up a community post last week that my grandfather passed away. Um, and I've just kind of been taking some time away. Um, I saw my family and all that stuff. I can go into a bit more detail in Monday's video, but um, my grandfather passed away last Friday, February 16th. Now, this canvas was previewed on Friday, February 16th, and I automatically loved it. Obviously, there's a cat. I love poppy flowers. I've done a kit with poppies before, and I talked about both of my grandfathers being veterans. Uh, one of them that had passed away years ago used to pass out um, the poppy flowers at like the grocery store on Veterans Day or Memorial Day or anything like that. Um, and my other poppy, the one who just passed, did the same thing. So the fact that this kit came out and was previewed Friday morning and then my poppy passed away later that day, I knew I had to buy this kit. Obviously I am on a no buy. I did use points, <laughs> so I only had to pay for shipping. Um, but I just, I had to pick it up. It was just like a sign. So obviously, like I mentioned, I called my grandfather Poppy. Obviously Poppy Flowers, Poppy the person, but I don't know. It just, it had to happen, right? I could not pass this kit up when it came out on Saturday. So let's go ahead and open it. Um, obviously it's like a very subjective <laughs> personal meaning, but the fact that a kit with the name Poppy in it was previewed the day that my grandfather, my Poppy passed away. I just, I don't know, mysterious ways, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at this kit. I am very excited about it. It's beautiful. I don't quite know when I'll work on it, but I don't know. Well, I'll have to think about it. <laughs> so we have the small sticker and we have a toolkit here. What do we have? So we have a white tray with a stopper. We have some heart-shaped pink wax. We have a pink squishy. We have a pink sparkly pen. We have some baggies. We have a seven placer and a four placer. We have a really cute little dolphin cover minder. I actually don't have this one, super cute. And then we have a floral washi tape this off to the side. All right. I am going to, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm going to roll this backwards. Looks like a lot of color blocking too. Wait a second. Oh, is this the new? Okay, hold on. Somebody had told me about the perforated um, cover, plastic cover. I think it might have been Brie. So this is, okay, that is so weird. So the plastic is already pre-cut. I have not seen this before. That's so strange. 
I don't know how I feel about that because when I went to roll this backwards, now my my glue is exposed. I don't know that I like the perforated cover paper. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, I'm just gonna roll this backwards. Oh yeah, I don't think I like it, guys. See, I have this big air bubble here. It's not gonna damage the drill field or anything. It's just how the plastic cover was laid down. And I now I would be afraid to try to fix that because of the, hope you guys can see that. I'm talking about this right here. Now I would be worried to pull back the clear cover um, to try and get rid of that. Oh, I don't know. This, again, this is the first kit that I'm seeing with that, and I don't know if I like it. Now, I do have some other Diamond Art Clubs that I have not unboxed for you yet, so I can't say for sure if this is the first one that I've received, but it's the first one that I've seen with that, and I don't know that I like it. All right, uh, we have our sticker sheet. It looks like we have 62 colors. We have one, two, three, four ABs and two fairy dust. This is a 50.7 centimeter by 76 centimeter. Isn't it so beautiful? Oh, I love it. I love it. We do have the information packet. There's instructions. There's also um, a coupon code in there. This is a round kit. Ooh, is this a red fairy dust? It looks like we have two bags of that. That is exciting. Okay. Let's take a look at the canvas first. Sorry. The, <laughs> I thought that my plastic cover was cut, which I guess technically it is cut. Um, I don't think I like the new cover sheet. I'm not going to lie. Obviously I will have to work with it before I can give you a final decision. I, oh, I don't know. See, I separate my sections with washi tape and the washi tape is what I use as the guide of like where the plastic ends and begins. And I just don't think the perforated is going to work well for me personally. Again, I will give it a try and I'll report back. But my initial thought when I was rolling it back was, oh my God, my cover is sliced. So I wanted to make sure that the canvas itself wasn't sliced, which obviously it wasn't, but if just rolling it back to like, hopefully you guys can see this right here, just rolling it back to get some of the wrinkles out is exposing the canvas. I don't know how I feel about that personally. Let me know what your guys' thoughts. If you've worked on a canvas that has the perforated uh, clear cover, do you find that it works well for you? Are the sections a decent size? Because these look quite small to me. Um, yeah, I just... So like right here, sorry for the weird angle. This is just coming straight off of the canvas. And this, like it's, it's fully separated from the one above it. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm making sense. Obviously, I don't want to ruin this canvas. <laughs> so, but like we have clear cover here and then the one below it is just completely separated. So when I was trying to roll it back to get it to flatten out, all of my, my glue was exposed. <sighs> I don't know. Again, I will give it a shot. I will report back to you guys my thoughts. I just don't know that I'm a fan of the perforated. Now I can't get past it, I apologize. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So there's that. Um, looking at the drill field, it looks crystal clear as tends to be the case for me with Diamond Art Clubs. Um, I'm seeing a, what looks to be a good mix of color blocking and confetti. Uh, obviously, all the black is 310, so obviously that'll be quite a bit of color blocking. But even in the areas that have a lot of colors, it looks like there's a lot of line work. Um, so you, 
I could still get in there with like a seven placer it looks like and could lay down a majority of the colors so I think this kit will be fun because of the good mix of color blocking and confetti I also love the colors the color palette looks like it's going to be beautiful how cute <laughs> I really do like this kit all right let's take a look at the special drills and I'm going to do my best to show you where they go on the canvas. Let me grab a pair of scissors, actually. Okay, so it looks like we have three, no, four ABs. Seeing one right off the top, which is awesome. Here's another one. What else do we have? Two bags of red fairy dust, which I don't think I've ever worked with, so that's really exciting. Um, it looks like we have a yellow and a pale pink. Okay, it's this orangey yellow. I always try not to mess up my drills, but here I am. Here's the pink. And then we have a teal fairy dust. Here it is. Now I get to try and put all these back together. Close enough. So before I put them back in the bag, I'll just show you guys the color palette. We have some greens reds, orange, pink, some blues and purples. Very colorful. I'm already seeing a bunch of static, which is great. <laughs> I know I'm like a broken record when I complain about static, but it is like my biggest pet peeve of diamond painting. <laughs> the kit that I'm currently working on, which is also from Diamond Art Club, the static has not gone away no matter what I've done I let the kit sit with dryer sheets I tried alcohol like I tried everything and the static just won't go so I'll have diamonds in my tray and I'll like shake it and I'll put my pen like start to put it close and my pen just like sucks up all the drills Ugh, it's driving me nuts okay let's talk about the special drills I'm going to Actually, I think I'll leave it this way. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Uh, it gets more of the canvas in than if I try to turn it the other way. Let's start with the ABs. So we have four. The first one is 128, which is this really light pink. We have 131, which is an orange. We have 133 which is more of a true orange, I guess. This is like an orangey yellow, and this is like a true orange. And then we have 135. Not my favorite AB, but we'll see how they have that placed. And then we have two fairy dusts. So we have 666, which is, hopefully you guys can see the fairy dust coating. It looks beautiful in this red shade. And then we have 959, which is a really beautiful turquoise. <laughs> is this turquoise? I'm so bad at the turquoise aqua teal debate. All right, let's see where these all go. So the first one is the light pink, and that is symbol number one on the canvas. So... I see some here in this pink flower. I also see a few here, a few right here. Sorry, I can't get over the uh, <laughs> the feeling of the perforated section. <laughs> uh, there's also a few around the whisker area here in this like darker pink is highlighted by a couple of the pink ABs. 
And I think that that's probably it. There's not very many in this bag. It's quite a small amount, but that is okay. Next we have 131, which is the light orangey color. And that is symbol number two on the canvas. And I'm seeing it, ooh, there's some in the whiskers over here. There's also some in these orangey sections, just kind of highlighting some of these flowers. There's some here, here, here. Uh, there's also some over this way, and I did see some along the bottom. So there's some in this flower right here off to the side. And then there's also some down here. Our next AD is 133, which is that, I would consider this to be like a true orange. It might be picking up a little bit darker on camera, but in person it looks more like a true orange to me. That is symbol number three on the canvas. And I see some here in this poppy. Uh, I also see some, this poppy down here, there's a bunch of them kind of outlining the outside there. There's also some through here, uh, quite a few in this area here and then up along the neck of the cat. And there's also a few along this side towards me that is kind of being cut off by the camera. There's a few along the line there. Our final AB is 135, which is the, I guess this would be a chartreuse. Uh, that is symbol number four on the canvas. And that is pretty much all of the long stems have this uh, particular AB in them. So for example, this stem that goes all the way up to this poppy here is this AB. Same with over here, there's some here. Like anywhere you see a long stem that looks like it's kind of charted in a neon green, it's this one. So I think that's gonna be really pretty. Like I said before, this isn't my favorite AB, but I think it could look really nice how they have it charted. So hopefully that's the case. And then for our two fairy dust drills, we have two bags of 666, which is symbol, sim, simbler, <laughs> can you tell it's been a bit since I've recorded, <laughs> which is symbol letter W. And that is all throughout the poppy flowers. So we have like loaded in this one, along the outside here, there's a bunch through this one, there's a bunch here, there's a bunch in this one up here. Uh, pretty much wherever you see a poppy flower, there is some of this uh, fairy dust in it, which I think is going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm also seeing some in the cat's face up here. Um, and then there is another poppy in the top corner right there, which also has some of that fairy dust drill. So tons of this, which is very exciting. I can't wait to see how that comes out because these are some of my favorite drills. They're understated, but they really pack a punch, especially when they're like this volume of them in a kit. That's really exciting. I can't wait to see that. And then our final fairy dust is the greater than symbol. <laughs> Gosh, take me back to middle school with that one, uh, which is fairy dust drill 959. And there's some in this flower right here. There's also some over, you guys can see here. Um, let's see. There's also some down below here, wherever you see this like tealy color, um, that is the this particular fairy dust, which I think is going to be really beautiful. Now this kit is a 50, 50.7 by 76 centimeter. Um, so six special drills may seem a little overwhelming, but I think the way that 
Diamond Art Club has placed them. I think it's just going to add to this kit. It definitely has that like abstract. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk today, guys. It definitely has that abstract feel um, because you can see like the cat has some of the fun colors on it. Um, I just think that the way that they've placed everything is going to really pop on this particular kit, especially with all the 310 in the background. I think the cat and the poppies are just going to pop right out of it and I'm really excited to see what this one looks like. So that is A Cat Named Poppy by Peggy Collins. I'm thinking I would like to work on it this year. Um, I'm thinking maybe I like to mark like I like to mark s specific months that are like important to me with a diamond painting. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe um the month that my poppy was born maybe I'll do it like as a I don't know we'll see definitely stay tuned to my channel definitely keep an eye on my plan my kits with me um where I'll talk about obviously the kits that I want to work on that month so keep an eye out this one will definitely make a return probably sooner rather than later to my channel and I'm very intrigued to try out the perforated cover <laughs> let me know again if you guys have worked with it yet what your thoughts are first impression I don't love it just because when I was trying to roll my canvas back the perforations had already torn so it was exposing the glue so I definitely need to make sure that I fold this in with the plastic cover facing in um, to kind of prevent that from happening but we'll see let me know your thoughts down below I do have other kits that I have been putting off unboxing for you guys. So I might have some other ones that have this cover, but this is the first time that I'm seeing it in person. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxing. Thank you so much for hanging in with me this week. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't have my regular videos up for you guys. And I just want to thank you all again for those of you that reached out to me on my community tab or you reached out to me over on Instagram. Um, it really means a lot to get messages from you guys when something happens when something like this happens um I feel like sometimes it can be easy to forget that people that make videos are real people and um those of you that reached out to me I just really really appreciate it so uh thank you so much for watching today's unboxing let me know if you picked up this kit um, we should be back to normal for next week's videos. If something changes, I will let you guys know on the community tab. Uh, and I hope everybody has a great weekend. I will see you guys hopefully on Monday. Bye.